bacon cheeseburger sliders salad. I love all the ingredients to this salad and I love how it's presented. It's just a really fun twist on an old classic. So I'm making the croutons for the salad and since it sort of has a cheeseburger theme, I cut up some sesame seed buns into cubes and I'm just tossing them in some melted butter. That's a great start to any salad, I think. Melted butter. <laughs> Leave it to me, right? Okay, I tossed the croutons, so I'm gonna get them into the oven. They're gonna bake at 350 degrees for 10 minutes until they're toasty and golden. So I'm gonna get the salad ingredients ready, and they're really simple. I have a bowl of romaine lettuce, and then I have some super fun things to add. Dill pickles. I'll just sprinkle in a few and then save some for the end. And some sliced red onion, really thinly sliced. Again, I'll save a few for garnish. Pickle juice. The flavor of pickles is amazing. It'll have a salad dressing at the end, but I love dressing the lettuce in the pickle juice. And then some good red grape tomatoes that I cut in half, save a few for the end. And then I like to sprinkle on a little salt and pepper just so there's plenty of seasoning. And then I'll toss the ingredients just so all the lettuce can get coated in that pickle juice. All right, the salad is all tossed. So I'm going to make the meat mixture for the sliders. So I've just got regular ground beef and salt and pepper, plenty of pepper. And then I like to season the meat with a little bit of Worcestershire. You can just do salt and pepper if you want. You can add like some taco seasoning if you wanna kind of change the flavor of the meat. I'm keeping it pretty simple. All right, so I got the mixture all ready, and I need to form 12 little patties out of this meat. So I'll grab a slider-sized portion and just press it into a rough patty. I am not looking for a perfect patty here, just something sort of resembling a little cheeseburger patty. All right, that's one. Now I'm gonna form 11 more just like this. So that's 12 little slider patties. I'm gonna get them on the grill, cook them for two minutes per side, top them with cheese. These little patties look absolutely perfect. They're just the right size. They're almost like flat little meatballs, but with melted cheese on top. So I'm gonna get the croutons out of the oven. They should be nice and toasty by now. Yes, they are. I love it when a plan comes together. So it's time to assemble this darling slider salad. I've got my dressed lettuce. Oh, it's looking so good. It's amazing what that pickle juice does. It kind of wakes up the lettuce. Now I'm gonna grab these gorgeous little slider patties. And yes, these go on top of the salad. I told you it was a slider salad. This is so much fun. And it's sort of just an unlikely presentation. So I've got a few more pickles just to dot the top with, some more tomatoes just for garnish, gorgeous onion. I love the color, it's so pretty. Now, forgot to mention the bacon. <laughs> I was gonna crumble the bacon and do like bacon bits, but I thought it'd be fun to lay these little half slices of fried bacon right next to each slider. So they're basically cheeseburger bacon sliders is what they are. Cheeseburger bacon slider salad. <laughs> the titles of my recipes can change as I'm making them depending on what I do. Okay, that's the bacon. And then of course these gorgeous toasted sesame bun croutons here, there, and everywhere. Truth be told, I probably could have used some more lettuce. I've totally covered it up with all the good stuff. Of course, that's not a bad thing. And I'm about to add one more thing. We need some dressing over the top, and I do mean over the top. This is Thousand Island, and I'm just gonna drizzle it back and forth, do a little zigzag. You can use ranch, blue cheese, whatever dressing you like. 